Joe the Gardener. Happy New Year. Now, you may notice behind me is something that's a little bit different. It's my new garden. Oh, I love it. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. Oh my gosh. But in my head, I can see it all. There's going to be sheds, greenhouses. I'm going to have a little garden office. There'll be a shed for just the pure, simple reason of storing fruit and veg so they don't go off. Um, there's going to be raised beds, fruit cages, an orchard. The chickens are going to be nice and close but contained. And it's going to be awesome. Now you may have noticed in my wee pan around, oh, we're on the beach. We're not close, we're more than 500 metres from the beach. So that reduces the risk of, from what I understand, permanent damage from um, salt spray. So we're far enough back, but that's not a problem. But then we go 10 acres back away from the coast. So there are places in the property that are completely, you know, they're miles away. It's great. Um, where I want to, here, let me take you on a tour. Come and have a look. Okay, it's a bit blowy because it's a couple of days after the storm, but see this bit here? That's where our house is going to go. Now we're not building, we're relocating. So we've bought a new house that's 200 kilometers away and we'll arrive in two sections on a truck. I'll share that with you. So in the meantime, this is where we're staying. It should be fun. Um, that's our wonderful hill. But the thing is, with the garden, yeah, that's better. Um, it's sheltered because it's sheltered on all sides from the, um, the winds on the side and the house it will shelter us here and then I'll build shelter belts and all sorts of things. Huge learning curve. Okay, so basically and there's rabbits and deer and all sorts of things here so there's another learning curve um so there's the entrance way and what i'm going to do is put a picket fence across the front because it's cool and then i'm going to have an office shed and then a tool shed and then um my fruit storage shed um and then in front will be raised beds loads of raised beds it'll be awesome it'll be as big as the garden i have um but better um now over here it's not very blowy at all so you can see there's no wind noise here at all so this is going to be a great place for my greenhouse now i'm thinking um uh, a six by 12. Oh, i think it's f i don't know if that's meters or foot um but it's the same width as the one i've got but just longer so it'd just be nice to have it tucked in on this um out of the way windy windless site here um so this is all going to be raised beds now the sun rises over here and then sets down there over the ocean couldn't be better um so yeah so all raised beds raised beds raised beds the soil is i mean it's still quite green considering um we're in drought situation and there's loads of cow food um uh, but it's sand so it's got good drainage there will not be any mud no mud at all oh okay so over here will be a couple of fruit cages um so that the birds because there are actually a lot of birds here if you stop and listen there's a lot of birds here i don't want them eating my berries um so yeah so that will come through here fruit cages then the chickens will chicken coop will go here and then we'll just fence it all the way up so they've got i hope chickens climb hills um i'm sure they do so 
So the chicken coop and then beyond, or in the chicken coop and beyond will be the orchard. So the orchard will be dotted up the hill. They say it's good for growing grapes and olives here. So it's just magnificent. Now my wonderful swing seat I've decided, because that's coming with us, will be amazing up here. And I can sit here in my swing seat and just take it all in. I can take in the ocean and I can take in the garden and I can take in the orchard. Oh my gosh, I'm super, super, super excited. So there you go, the new place. So what do you think? I'm super excited. This is my New Year's resolution, new goals, new everything wrapped in one. So we're relocating the house from Tauranga. Um, and I'll take you along on that journey because that's only in here. You don't see houses going down the street that often. So I'll share that with you. Um, so the house is coming, they reckon. Um, late February, I think we'll see it. So that'd be cool. Um, and, but I'm gonna, as soon as I can, I'm just gonna get started working in here. Oh, so I am ready. My aim is to get my early garlic in in April and my winter um, brassicas and things like that in for um, late summer, early autumn. So I've got my work cut out for me, but at least if I get a plan, which I'll share with you. Um, oh, it's all in here. I just need to get out. We love it here. We've got beach access as well, so one day I'll take you down off the beach and show you. Gorgeous. It's going to be monumental. So it would have taken something special to make me leave my garden. And this is pretty special. Thanks so much for watching. Please join me over the coming months because this is going to be out of the ordinary exciting. Wow. Me in my garden. So yeah, so um, come along and join us um, and take care, have a wonderful new year, I hope it's good to you and that you have a wonderful 2018 um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how everything pans out. Take care, bye bye.